I'll be finished with this in a minute. Huh. Darn a shirt and brand a steer in the same day. I'd say I'm a pretty lucky man. Jason, I've been thinking about that brand on the cattle today. It, uh, it seems so familiar. Well, that's no surprise. We get cattle from all over. Might have been quite a few carrying that brand. But I've been remembering other things, too. Um, a, a, a big house with white pillars. Now, do we know anybody who lives in a place like that? Nobody. You're just imagining things, Hesse. Yeah, I guess I am. But it... It seems so real. It seems... Oh. Headache again? Oh, it's, uh... It's been coming and going most of the afternoon. Yeah. It's all right now. <sighs> no wonder you got a headache. You're working yourself to death. Now, oh. come on, come on. You've got to get some rest. Good night, Jason. Now we'll uh, we'll backtrack to the bottom of the gulch. Make sure our trail's covered before we head for the cabin. Right. It ain't likely anybody will pass this way. Well, I'll feel a lot easier if you have this. Well, I feel so much better. I wish you'd let me go with you. Oh, it's going to be hard riding. You're better off here, resting. We'll be back in a couple of hours. Just a minute. 
didn't think you'd have the nerve to come waltzing into town in broad daylight. I don't know what you're talking about. I just came to town to send a telegram. You just come along with me. You're going to answer a few questions. What questions? About your friend, Jason Fleet. Jason Fleet? I don't know anybody by that name. You've made a mistake. You made the mistake thinking you wouldn't be recognized. You're under arrest for cattle wrestling. I... She's been caught. She didn't even have a chance to use the rifle. Ain't no sign of struggle. Well, they probably sneaked up on her just like they did us yesterday. Then how do you account for just one set of traps leaving here? I'm telling you, Hesse wouldn't leave like that. The law's got her, and I'm telling you she something else for the last Hesse, time. Jase. Hesse was beat to death because she wouldn't say where you was hiding. Now, calling another woman her name ain't going to change that. You got to face it. You got to, Jase. Where you going? I'm going after her. Well, then perhaps we'll take your right to Volcano Road. You want to meet up with the sheriff? Yep, he's got Hesse. I rode with you a long time, Jace. As long as it made sense everywhere. But this don't make sense. Now, you do what you want to. We're going back to the cabin. It's your choice. I lost Hesse once. I ain't gonna lose her again. Sheriff, I don't know how many times I have to tell you I am Victoria Barkley. I was in the stagecoach well, wreck. Of course, of course. And where have you been since the last three weeks? All I remember is the stage starting to fall. Nothing until I found myself in the Mesquite Grove today with a locket my son Jared gave me for Christmas. Now, Sheriff, you have got to believe me. I'd like to. But I'd deserve to be locked up right alongside of you if I went for that story. It's no story. I saw you, Brandon, stolen cattle with Fleet yesterday as clear as I see you now. I've got two witnesses to back me up. But if I did do that, why would I ride into town today? We've been making things pretty hot for Fleet lately. I figure he's hard up for supplies. He sent you after him because he figured a woman would draw less attention. Sheriff, I've never been in Volcano before in my whole life. Look here. I don't know what Fleet means to you, but he's cost the ranchers around here a lot of money. They're mad enough to break in here and string you up, woman or not. So for your own sake, you better tell me where that hideout is. I wish I could, Sheriff. I wish I could. Because I have a feeling. I have a feeling that something very important happened to me during those weeks. Who do you want? I figured the sheriff had you. Come on out as quick as you can. I got horses in the alley. What is it, ma'am? I don't know. But I think I'm beginning to remember things. The hideout? 
Maybe. Where? I, I think I can take you there. We'll ride out at daylight. I think it's around there. You sure? Yes. How much further? I don't know. All I remember is the house. Let's go. They told you she'd bring the law on us. She can't help it. They forced her. Mm. I tell you, she was jailed. I talked to her myself. Well, she ain't jailed now. She ain't even handcuffed. Well, they still got quite a ways to come. Maybe they'll turn back. Coming in rain. Lizzie, go back. It's sweet. No, don't. I didn't want it to happen this way, but I, I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember until I saw you. You did right. Had to happen this way. Couldn't have done nothing else. I'm glad you was hissy. It was just for a little. light on so I came to say good night. It's wonderful to have you home. It's wonderful to be home. What a lovely brush. Is that hand carved? Mm-hmm. Pine bristles. And they say there's nothing like them to make your hair shine. What are you thinking? Mm, you know, it's difficult to believe there's a stranger inside you. That under other circumstances you might have lived different kind of life. I think there's a stranger inside of everyone. But I wouldn't worry too much about it. I, I hear there's at least one horse thief in the best of families. 